Hello, my name is Creostix, and so here's the thing. I had such a bad time, such a stressful time, such a horrible time with horror games lately, or just, you know, not very enjoyable games in both quality and otherwise, like, you know, Little Nightmares and even Outlast 2 and all that. Just, just, I, I just figured, fuck it, I'm going fishing. That's just, yeah, and that's what I'm I'm doing here, so we're gonna go into Dovetails Euro Fishing, I think is what it, this is called, and we have five lakes from which to choose from to relax in, to go and have some fishies in, and what I've done already is I've gone through the tutorials and I've done some fishing on my own to get the basics down, because they... Tutorials took forever to explain some really basic things, so it's better to just go and fish. One funny n note, though. Uh, the, the, uh, the other lakes are in Spain, England, France, and the observatory is in Europe. As in, as, as, as opposed to these other places which are apparently not in Europe, then. <laughs> you know, details. Okay, but let's go to the observatory lake, the basic one, I believe. I haven't bought any 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 new equi equipment or, or such, so we, so we have the the beginner basic stuff as our rods and tackles and rigs, baits, whatever. So what I want to have though is a clear sky, at least for now. Wind might as well be a, a dynamic. All that is that's all fine. One day, one hour. Yeah, sure, okay. And then we go, maybe start at 6, and go back and just play, and watch a nice, relaxing screen of... And I know, you're still thinking, am I being serious? Y yeah, I want something to just, to, to, that is simply relaxing, and soothing, and fishing is fun, man. I don't know if... I mean, at least in real life, it's pretty fun. It's relaxing, it's soothing. You see the nature, you go breathe some fresh air and all that, and at least it's not going to infuriate me with any bullshit, you know, in insta-kill whatever. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's fun. It's We'll get some fish and be all happy and dandy and everything. It'll be awesome, yes. And I'm, yes, I am, I am too. Serious, it's it's gonna be great. I pr I promise. I hope. So the point is here to claim a a peg this this area here, into which we can then throw three baits in 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 these rods and just wait for a fish to hit. There are a couple of other ways to do things as well, but that's what I'm, what we're doing this time. And what I like to do is between these two, I can do one that has white bread flakes and one that has the bloodworm bait in it. And let's say we throw this one in that direction, right next to the pier on the left side of the pier. There we go. Okay. And uh, indeed, in Finland, we would just say, Vittu men kalaan. As in, fuck it, I'm going fishing. <laughs> uh, or menen galan, but any, anyway. So, that's a, a pretty good spot there. I'll actually, I'll explain what that little icon was in just a se second. So, ooh, actually, let's make a short cast and put that there. Or, actually, let's do, let, let's do this way. Let's make a bit of a tactical long cast to that tiny little spot there. It went over, I know, but there we go. It fell right into the water, and that's a good spot. It has a one meter of depth and everything, and we saw a fish splash there. That's actually important in this game. They are actual, you know, simulated fish which splash, which is means you should probably throw your rod in somewhere ar around there. And uh, the icon, the yellow one, meant that it that it has a silt bottom, which is pretty okay, I think. It it, it, it can have at least, uh, the yellow one is silt bottom, the, 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 the then there's the green one, which is these weeds, right? And uh, then there's a gray one, which means 
that it's, I think, something like gravel or whatever, which is also fine, but weed is pretty hard. In weed, as far as I can understand, you will lose the bait. Or, no, 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 no. The fish will have trouble finding the bait, I mean. There we That's a good one, too. Okay. And, uh, full disclosure, I played one episode of this already, but I had technical difficulties and it just didn't work out. So, that time, fish was eating all the time. I had two or even three things just going at the same time almost all the time, which is unprecedented. Now, I'm sure it'll be a lot slower, because now we're recording this one, and, th and this will be the quote-unquote actual episode, so of course it is. But, this moment, when we've thrown our baits in, 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 into the water, is what we in Finland call... Orotellaan peukalo perseessä. Which translates to, we wait with our thumb up our ass. Yes. Uh, I mean, I think... Oh, ah, well, there we go then. Now we have a bite. And what do we get? Okay, now we need to be careful here, because that fish must not get away. And we avoid that by keeping the tension line, that half circle, in the bottom left there, in between the bottom and upper part of it. If it's too low, it'll get away. If it's too high, it'll get away. Oh, fuck. That's another one. That sound means there's another fish in the other rod, but but I can't get to it now. If I get lucky, I might be able to get to it later and still have it, but this fish is big. It's not tiring out on me. It, it's actually... I mean, come on. This is a huge one. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, that's a carp of something. 5.66 common carp. Excellent. But I can't really stay there too, because we have fish to catch. <laughs> Both of the other rods are full of fish as well. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come to Creo Sticks. Be in my stew. I'll make, it in I'll make you into a food and eat you with some salt and, and, and fruits and, and, and chips and all that. Yes, some, some potatoes and... And carrots and... Well, actually, you don't eat fish in this game, you just release them. But nonetheless, I like to think that... Ooh. I like to think that I eat them. But yeah, 5.66 is a big one. It's not the biggest one I've had, but it's real close. I think my record is some something like uh, 6.14 kilograms, maybe? Roughly? Wow, this is going really well. Three at, at the same time. It, it happened once before, it did. But it's really rare. Okay, what is that? It's the mirror? A mirror carp, 2.44. Okay. Can I get the final one as well? Come on, come on, come on. You're on the other side of the lake at this point. Ooh, come on. There we are. It did not get away, at least not yet. Okay, good. Two super good, super nice. Oh, this, this is a small one. It got tired already. I think this might be a roach. Usually only roach just get this, uh, yep, it is, it's a roach. And uh, this is the moment that we in Finland call Voi helvetin vittu, se on särki. Which tr translates to, oh fucking hell, it's a roach. <laughs> I know, I know, but I don't, it's, it's all spiky inside, it's bad to eat, and, uh, uh, I, I mean... It's it's good for you to eat, I suppose, but it just, it's it's so spiky and difficult to eat, and uh, it's it's not a delicacy, at least not where I come from. But nonetheless, every fish counts to get me more levels, and I mean we got a fish nonetheless. I mean, and and we got three fish. I mean, come on, man, that is so quickly too, and all at the same time. Whoa. Okay, and uh, to 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 recap, indeed, in in Finland, that r the roach is called a uh, särki, and in Finland, the common carp, the big one of 5.66 I got, a common carp is called karppi, or, you know, a uh, karppi. We don't have a uh or a the in front of the words, but, you know, karppi, right? And then we have, uh, oh, ooh, I hear, I need to put a... R rod in the close right again, I think, but not this one though. Uh, 
And then the the mirror, oh crap, that's a bit too hard. That'll usually go badly if I go too hard. It'll go, yeah, that doesn't work, right? But it's still a still... I'll, I'll, I'll leave you there for a second. You might actually work. It's still a good good uh, a, a good bottom, though. It, it, it doesn't always have to be far far away to be a good spot to get fish. But yeah, the mirror carp is called a uh, Bailey Carpi. The thing is, uh, neither of those... Oh, fuck. There, there we are. <laughs> As I said, that part is... Even if, if it's close, it might still be super good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, okay. I, it almost got away there. It has a bit of a delay to start re reeling in some... Oh, crap. And the other rod as well. Wow. It's a circus, man. Come on, tire out, tire out. It's real, you know, in the upper parts of the tension there. Come on, tire out, tire out. Come on. Come on. Be a team player here. Get to my stew. Come on. Man, it's not tiring out. The... It's it's in 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 this game. It's not about the uh, whether or not the fish is close to you. You, you, you. you need to well, okay. It needs to be close, yes. But it needs to be, have been tired out before you can pull it in, and that's a big one. Uh, what is that again? Oh, oh I missed it. <laughs> Fuck! I pressed A at the exact wrong wrong moment. I would have to imagine a mirror carp, but I'm not sure. Okay, and come on, 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 come on. There we go. But we will see very soon whether or not it was a record fish, though, because I have the leaderboards in the results. I'll see it in just a second. And of course, we have that on video. I think we can freeze frame that if you're watching this. I'm, I can't. I'm not gonna try and edit that here because that's not how I. I can't do that, but um, YouTube has a pause button in my luck. But that's a that is a, a bream indeed, yeah. And a bream in Finland is called lahna, I believe. I hope. I think so. I mean that that sure looks like a lahna, at least. But uh, yeah, also a pretty you know. Slimy, not very tasty fish, but it's one of those you feel good. It looks big, you know, but yeah um, There we go. My r r Record is 6.14 in this lake Which is by no means the highest one that's ever been gotten in this lake according to the game So I think eventually we will reach even a bigger one though and luckily I got that in the last episode which I which which as I said got borked so it's I, I kind of have evidence of it on video, but the video is so framey and bad, it's not usable. So, But nonetheless, we got a fish again, and that's what counts. And I mean, just just look at this. It's 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 all just a nice weather. It just I can already feel the relaxation and soothness just 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 rolling in me, and I'm just I feel so nice and just we're just we're. We're fishing, we're having a relaxing moment here, and we're getting so much fish, it's almost ridiculous, yes. Okay, and we throw the rod again. Both these spots have been so good so far, I want to kind of keep my system going. At least with the far ones here, so put that down there. There we go. And the second one... Let's put that, this time on, on the, you know, the, uh, the front side of the pier. It'll go in in, in 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 the ground first, I know, but don't worry. I'll load it just into the. There we go. It's in the reed weeds though, which usually means it's harder for the fish to see the bait. So pull it back just a bit, a bit more, a little bit more, a tiny bit more, a bit a little bit more still. There we go. Ooh, oh oh oh, fish! Uh, put down rod. God. I can't even get three rods down and we're already getting fish again. That's that's awesome, but I'm amazed. I mean, I had practice runs where I had to just look at the sky waiting for the fish to bite for, I don't know, over five minutes. Easily. Maybe even ten once. I mean, it's... Whew, we're lucky. I like it. 
Okay, come on, fish, come on, tire out on me. And actually, the closer I... Yep, the other one got the fish too. I saw the line move on my right, I was like, oh, oh man, it, it, it's again. And again, a bream, yep. 1.88, a good one, a, a pretty okay bream, to be honest. Okay, and here we go. Let's just take a relaxing tiring out of a fish here again. Man, this is this is a really action heavy si situation here. I I promise my practice runs that to you know get the the basics down where I did these pretty much same things. I didn't really leave them in reeds or weeds or whatever, so but those were really much, much slower than this. Okay, come on. Come on. Come to Creo Sticks. There we go. And now we are getting... I mean, I'm just... Ooh, that's a, a tiny mirror carp. Maybe? Let's see. Yep. Well, well, a tiny. 2.8083 is a pretty okay weight for a fish. I mean, that's... Oh, oh, and the, the you know, the kilograms. Yeah, I changed the met the uh, the system into the metric system. It was the Imperial at first. But you see, for me, I... From the top of my head, my mind doesn't, just doesn't work with pounds. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm European from Finland, you know, so... Pounds don't don't instinctively mean anything to me. It's I see a some some something like this fish is 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 eleven pounds and this many ounces and that that doesn't I have a very vague idea of what that roughly could maybe mean if I really start like counting it down and thinking about it in my head. But it immediately it immediately does not mean anything to me. Uh, for if you don't know. Uh, Roughly one kilogram is very roughly two-ish pounds. I I think it's something like if we really are, you know, it might be some some something like two point one pounds ish. But still, that's roughly where we're at with kilograms. I just that's how I un uh, how I understand weight. That's just how I got a roll here. <laughs> okay, and here we go then. Let's roll the rod out. And I mean, I just have a smile on my face. This is so relaxing. It's so soothing. And we just, we're just at, at our own pace, just catching fish and enjoying the sunshine. And the birds are singing. And there's just nothing is insta killing me with sneak sections. And everything just feels nice. Ooh. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, 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 again. Already. Fish. Come on. Come on. Get here. There we go. Tire out for Creostix. Get in my stew. And I know, indeed, in this game you release the fish. That is true. You don't eat them. But I like to think that I eat them, you know? it's. It feels like the the naturally correct way to do. To, to, to fish, fish, you know, to have them to your... as a meal. You fish them to be your food which you need. That is the hunter-gatherer way of the human being and human condition, yes. That's not tiring out very quickly. It might be a semi-big one. Or, or at least it's it's not a tiny roach, that's for damn sure. There we go. And watch, it's gonna be a roach because I don't know shit about, it, about anything. It's haha. That's actually a pretty okay size. I think it's a common carp. A common carp, 5.66. That's that's not very far from my from my r r r record. Again, a bit more, half a kilo, which is you know again r roughly, roughly, roughly one pound, maybe 1.1, 1.2, something like that. But still, that's getting close. Okay, but that means that spot gives a lot of good fish. So let's just get it going. <laughs> and again, we got a bite on the other rod. Ooh, gravel surface. There we go. Or a, a bottom. That's what that looks like. Uh, come on. Give us a fish. Right from under the pier. Or the or under the other peg. I'm, I, I, I mean, it, 
that is a peg on the right, not a peer, peer. But you know, I it looks like a peer if you're, you know. Come on, come on. Ooh, that's pulling back quite nicely. It's it doesn't sound like much when these <laughs> things pull back, which is I know it's a bit weird, but uh, it took some time to start getting here. Okay, now just up oh, there you go. It's probably not as big as the last one, though. It wasn't that... Oh, well, no, because it's... that They're big, but they're not as heavy, is the point, right? What? Watch, it's one 1.9 bream. That's one of the biggest breams I've gotten, I think. 1.88 was before, but they don't really go much bigger... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I can't even finish a sentence and I get fish. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come to Creostix. I mean, I, I mean, okay, the first episode was really good, had a whole bunch of fish, very active, and I got the record fish as well, but holy fuck, this has been an eventful thing. I've... Have I ever even gotten... Yeah, at the very beginning, I got all three rods in the water. Beyond that, I haven't even gotten all three in because the fish eat so well. It's awesome. Oh, man. Come, come. And yeah, and this is also a very, uh, a very, you know, there's a clean way to fish. You don't get all slimy and gooey and sick, sick with cold and all that and, and, and wet. So there's a good way. That's a pretty okay sized carp as well. But may, hmm, it's higher. It's, it's like a 4.79. Not, not bad. Not bad. Not, 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 not as big, but not as, but not bad. But uh, yeah, to tell a to, to tell a fishing story, uh, I, I actually mentioned this in my uh, in my little nightmares, let's play. But uh, as I was a little kid, doing pretty much this sort of stuff with you know one rod, and then you just you know reel it back and throw it again and, and reel it back. I was a kid then and doing it from a pier in a in in a cottage in a sum, summer cottage. I was just you know having a vacation there as a Kid, summer break, all, all that, and uh, I was just doing the uh, reeling in and <laughs> throwing, and I even I think ate a bit of candy while I was doing it. I was like, yeah, some candy, Ooh, good, good going. I like fishing, yay! I didn't get any fish because it's fucking hard to get fish that way. But um, but anyway, after maybe an hour or two hours, one and a half, some some so, something like that, I just I I noticed that. I, I just looked at my finger, and what I noticed was there was something that wasn't supposed to be there. It there was a wiggly thing, you see, and and it turned out that there was um, in in from from the finger there was sticking out a colorless, a light yellow, a thin, a couple of millimeters thick worm wiggling around there, like it was just sticking out of there or wiggling. I was like, what the f ah! That was an awesome moment. And it, and indeed, it was some sort of leech, obviously. Not a big black one, but a small colorless one-ish. So I just, oh fuck, I just pulled it out. I mean, it was okay. It got, it didn't cause any, you know, infections or such, but good fucking God, it was nasty. Doing this, there's no problem like that. We can just go fish and just relax and enjoy the fun and soothing experience to just get a lot of fish from this observatory lake, which has a lot of polygons, I, I agree, but uh, it's still just, it's so nice. It's so just, you can just feel your body just, you know, getting all cozy and soft and fluffy inside and just, ah and would you get to come the fish I'm, I'm I mean there there you go haha -ha. and what do we have this time ooh I think that's a mirror carp again I think that it, yep it's like a m mutated carp I believe that one 5.21 pretty okay and um, I actually uh, in in Finland we technically have carp, but we also don't. the The point is, it's all 
stuff that has been, you know, planted there. And uh, in in a, in in a, in 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 a natural sense uh they they don't really they don't survive as the point or, or, or they do but their offspring don't meaning a carp can live in the lakes in Finland but their offspring will die in the winter because there's not there's not enough food i believe under the ice when this gets the you know the when it freezes over, so they die then. So they so so they don't you know remain there as you know a generation. They live there when they're planted there, and they live fine until they die. But they don't continue living on do, through their offspring there. So they kind of exist in Finland, but not naturally. Ooh, and we have another one. And 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 I told you I wasn't speaking much of, of it, but I wanted to put. Uh, put the bait down from the tree into the water. It just felt like the right move to make, and man, it sure seems like it. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come to Creostix. It'll be fine, I promise. It's... It's... You look good on my frying pan, and you'll taste nice, I'm sure. Because you seem big. You're not a roach again, because you fight back hard. Okay, well, not that hard, but I think you're still not a roach, though. Unless it's like a monstrous roach, I don't know. Aha! Aha! I felt I felt correct. Oh crap! An an another one. And this baby is a uh, tench. 2.36. A tench in Finnish is. I've had a couple of those all 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 already as well in my practice runs. A tench is called in Finnish a uh, sultari, which I, I had to actually look it up. That's not the word that. Just come up in your, you know, Eng English lessons. It's a fish called Sutari. For some reason, the same word means this, also means the person who fixes your shoes. You know, that's why I, I don't know. But that, that 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 that's just what it is. But then again, and and another tench, ha ha. And I believe we are kind of running low on time here, so I might start, you know, the the next fish I get will be the the crunch fish, the one that will, you know, end the ep episode, yes. Let's, so let's throw the rod in, just in, in case it'll be this one. Ooh, that's a good throw. Right into the shelter there, and uh, is the second rod also? Yep, the uh, second rod I should probably... Let's put this one right in the middle of these two. Right there. Oh, oh, it's too hard to throw. It'll probably go badly. When you... Oh, yeah. When, when you throw it too hard, it goes in just the wrong direction. And it... Uh, just... It goes in bad directions, bad height, bad distance. All is just almost random, you know. That's when you try to throw it too hard. That's much better. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty okay. And in, I mean, I think that's gravel. I think it was called gravel. That kind of kind of bottom. Okay, now, and watch. Now that I said that the last, that the next fish will be the last one, it'll be fucking years until they eat. Now, just watch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. I was wrong. I, I was. I, I admit that. Yes, good. Okay, get, get the fish. Not let this one get away. It's important. This will be the crunch fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's a roach. It's a roach, isn't it? It's it's a roach, isn't it? Yep, I felt it. I felt it was a roach. <laughs> oh well. But I mean, hey, it's... Uh, sometimes we got to get a vitun sarki, eli a fucking roach. Because, because I, no one likes roaches, man. I... I or, or, I mean, not where I come from, indeed. But, this has been... At least, now I'm all, all out of time for this episode, though. Just, pl please, this, the fish, don't eat now. I'm all out of time. And please do tell me, what did you think of this soothing, relaxing game video of just going fishing? I actually might do more. A friend of mine encouraged me real hard, just, Hey, you gotta do that! It's it's such a fun and, and, and awesome idea! You gotta do some fishing! And well, here we are, then. 
I I had fun doing this. I'm I'm all smiles. This is so relaxing and soothing and ah. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to. It would really, really help. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again next time.